Yeah. Yo, what if I told you fear can be manufactured, like not haunted house level, but lab brood, sniff it, and now you're seeing your childhood math teacher as a monster. Chemicals already trigger panic, paranoia, and hallucinations. Scarecrow's toxin? Science has already written the recipe. No shot. Fix your neurons, throw in a raid party, electric sparks, fireworks, then some sneaky chemicals slide in and ruin the playlist. Neurotransmitters get confused, your amygdala, that tiny alarm bell, thinks the toaster is a dragon. L plus ratio to rational thought. Real world compounds like certain psychotimemetics can uh, amplify threat signals, crank up anxiety, and bend perception. It's chemistry class, but instead of soap, you make panic. Uh, yo, science nerds call it amygdala hijack. I call it uh-oh. I love this stream energy. Scarecrow's genius is mixing scent, dose, and delivery. Smell is linked to memory. So one whiff and boom, your brain replays your worst text. What? You thought your nightmares were safe? Nope. But science also gives us antidotes, blocking receptors, calming circuits, and therapy that rewires the freakout settings. So yeah. Fear can be engineered, but it can also be unengineered. Balance, babe. Smash subscribe to our channel for more chaos, science, and bad takes. Ayo, don't sleep on this unless you want your dreams narrated by Scarecrow. A plus ratio, baby.